All right, I'm going to show you all what I got going right here. This is a uh, 308 Savage. And it has a threader barrel on the end of it right there. This is the one. It comes with a 10-shot uh, magazine here is what it comes with. I got this one a, uh, a couple weeks ago, I guess. And I've been waiting on a scope. And this is a scope that I ordered right here for it right here. This is a uh, loophole, uh, four and a half by 14. It's got a 30 millimeter tube on it and a 50 millimeter objective on the end of it right there. And I got the mill dot reticle in this one. Let's see, you don't have it on this. They don't say it on the box here. I got the, the top of the boxes in the kitchen and there's where it is. So what I'm about to do is I've got the rings on here. I'm about to mount the scope on it here. Get it on there. And then let me grab this. Here's the silencer to go on the end of it. Right there. Silencer code, harvester, also known as a suppressor. The shoe screws right on. I've got the adapter ring already in it. So it just screws right on right there. I'm not going to screw it all the way on because I'm going to take it off, but you can kind of see how it's going to end up looking right there. I'm going to be shooting. Uh, 165 or 168 grand. I can't remember what it is, what I got for it. They're going to, they're subsonic uh, bullets, so bow tail soft points out of it's what is what I'm going to be shooting out of it, which I'm going to show my video shooting it where y'all can hear what it sounds like whenever I, whenever I shoot it. And uh, y'all be able to see it. Of course, it's got the adjustable turrets on both of them and then the focus on the other side over there too. So, Ah, uh, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty cool. I'll be right back. Let me get this scope on here right quick. All right, there she is, complete. See the magazine sticking out the bottom of it right there? Suppressor on the end of it. And that suppressor has a brake built into it also, too. Which on subsonic stuff, you really don't need it. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this one turned out right here. The cool thing is on the Savage, on the Savage uh, rifles right now like this, you get a hundred dollar rebate on them. It's what you get. This gun was like six fifty nine. The scope was uh, eight fifty for that scope right there. Suppressor is about seven hundred. Plus another two hundred dollars for the tax stamp for it, so you can do the math and you can add it up to see what I got in it, and then another twenty dollars for a sling for it to go on it. But uh, I did not film putting the scope on there; it's level and all that good stuff. I have my own way of doing that, and I just I didn't want to film it because I didn't want to hear some other people saying whatever against me about the way that I did it, but it is sitting level and all that. But I think for, uh, it's, a, it's a good looking gun. I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks. So maybe I can get in here tomorrow afternoon and get her zeroed up. What I'll do to zero her is not bore sight or anything. Scope ought to be pretty close. It'll be set neutral right where it's at. What I'll do is the first shot, I'll shoot it at 25 yards at a target and get it on paper right there is what I'll do. And then I'll I'll hone it on in pretty close or you know within a just a couple of shots get it pretty close. Then I'll go on I'll run on out to a hundred yards is what I'll do and I'll finish fine tuning it fine tuning it on out. But uh I'm pretty happy. Happy, happy, happy with that. This one's got a tactical bolt on it. Uh it's got the Accu trigger. Uh, recoil pad on this one right here is very, very spongy, soft. I like that. 
which with the subsonic stuff that that's not going to be an issue anyhow if I shoot regular ammunition through it I'm probably going to be shooting a 150 grain ballistic tip federal premium out of it but I like that I like that looks good looks good I may just put it up against my 25 alt 6 to see what the length is. I think it's going to be a little bit longer with the suppressor on there than my 25 alt 6 is, I believe. But it still feels good. It's not too heavy. That was one thing I didn't want. I didn't want a heavy gun or anything like that. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty sweet. So, stick it back right here. I don't think I've ever let anybody else ever put one of my scopes on except for me, myself, and I. Those three people, I believe is it. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I'll be shooting that thing here. I'll film while I, while I shoot it. I think some of y'all is going to be very surprised with the subsonic stuff, how quiet it is when it, when it, when it goes off. I mean, it's just a little, little light crack is all it's going to be. But uh, if you like my stuff, uh, please subscribe to me. I'll get a video up of zeroing it in and all that stuff like that. And uh, if you want any of my Cotton Top 3 merchandise, I've got tons of different shirts. i got hoodies. i got uh, four different styles of hats to pick from now. I uh, got some sweatshirt. I got everything's on the website, cottontop3.com. Even got koozies on there too. Uh, you can go there and pick something you want. But uh, hope y'all enjoyed all that. I'm going to let y'all go from now. It's about time for my bedtime. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters. Alright, what y'all are about to see is, is about how I do about 90% of my guns that I zero. Uh, it's in the dark, and that's when I usually zero them. Not because that's what I prefer, but that's just because when I have the most time to do it is in the dark. Now, I got two guns I'm gonna do tonight. This is a 22, a Savage 22, a uh, long rifle, and uh, it's got a suppressor on it. It's got a uh, dead D-E-A-D, -E -E -D, dead air mask, A-I-R. M-A-S-K, that's what's on it. That suppressor costs approximately uh, $450, plus you gotta buy a $200 tax stamp, and you have to send it off to the ATF and be fingerprinted and all that jazz like that. So what y'all are gonna get to do, y'all are gonna hear this thing go off. What I've got is, out here in front of me, I've got a target, with this 22, I've got a target sitting at 25 yards. And then I got another target down there at 100 yards. I'll turn the camera around. Alright, uh, this is a 308 right here. I just shot it one shot out off camera just to kind of see what it was doing at 25 and how the gun felt and all that stuff. So I'm finna fire it. I've done run the scope up some. It's about four and a half inches low. I ran the scope up some. We'll see if I can get it closer before I get on down there to uh, 100 down there. So you can listen to this and and uh, see what uh, what y'all think here. That's a 308 caliber gun, that quiet like it. Oh yeah. That's crazy. That thing's that quiet. I'm wearing earplugs just for that, just, just in case, but that's quiet. I've actually got it, it's sitting, that's three shots.
I'm about a half an inch to the left and just about dead in it. I'm a half an inch to the left and I'm right on it. Up and down. So now we're finna go for a hundred now. So I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. This after hour stuff like this. Pretty cool. Uh, like I said, this is how I do about 90% of what I do in the dark. So if you like my stuff, please subscribe to it. And uh, I'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.